Hey guys, um, as you can probably tell by my voice and everything that's going on here, I just woke up and y'all are probably wondering, why on earth is she doing a video when she just woke up? Well, I've been wanting to do this review for y'all for a while. I figured that now would be the perfect time. I bought some Bobbi Brown cosmetics the other day and I got the corrector and the concealer. Apparently with Bobbi Brown, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put corrector underneath, which brightens everything up and then once you have the corrector on you go over with the concealer and that lightens so corrector brightens and concealer lightens so I thought it worked really well I was surprised so I wanted to show you guys I'm gonna do one side of my face so you can see the difference between the two and if you guys are looking for a concealer then maybe this will help you all out anyway first let's start off by the correct using the corrector. This is like a more pinkish tone and it's not supposed to match up completely with your skin tone. So if you put that on and you're just like, eh, this looks gross, it's okay because that's why you go in afterwards with the concealer. That matches everything up. So I'm just getting my um, concealer brush from Real Techniques and I'm gonna get just a little bit. And whenever I put concealer and stuff on, under my eyes. I like to do it in kind of a triangle. It seems to kind of lift everything a little bit. So here we go. Triangle. And also bring it over here too. Alright, and then I like to use my um, ring finger because that one's the weakest out of all your fingers and gently pat it in. Don't rub in concealer. Never rub in concealer. That just will swipe it all away and that's completely beside, I mean, completely takes away the purpose of this. So as you can see, it's already made a bit of a difference. This side is pink and red and all that, and this side looks nice. By the way, I have these huge bags that will just never be covered up because they're just bags. They're not like color or anything. So just want you all to know, that's not the corrector and concealer's fault. So after you get the corrector on, go back over it with the concealer. So, once again, using my brush, I like to wa brush off my brush on like a napkin or something before doing this so the colors won't like blend in and do something weird or something. And there is Copernicus, my dog making the worst noises ever again. It's only whenever I film, you know. He knows. Ring finger. And then this comes with a uh, it comes with a powder here for you to set the stuff. So I'm just getting a fluffy brush. This is my Soho brush that I got in one of my glam bags, which is awesome. And do that and set it. I like to do it right away before anything has the chance to crease because my under eyes are really wrinkly and you know. So there you have it. It is definitely a complete difference. It's pretty obvious, I think. I mean, I'm just looking at this little screen. I have a swivel screen on my camera. I can see just right there that, you know, this side is awake and this side looks like I just woke up. Because I did. <laughs> anyway. Um, I hope this helped any of you who are trying to decide on like 
Oh, I saw that Bobby Brown concealer and I was wondering where I should get it or not. Well, I think you should. This is not a paid sponsor, obviously. Look at the amount of subscribers I have right now. I just started. This is my opinion. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys to go and get something that I don't like. I just really liked it and I wanted you guys to see how well it actually works. So, like I said, if you like it or are considering a under eye concealer, I would definitely recommend the Bobbi Brown and it lasts a pretty long time too. And I think they also have like a little touch up stick for during the day if it starts smudging. I didn't get it. She showed it to me, but I didn't get it. Anyway, I'm going to go now because I really have to sneeze. I can feel it and I don't want to sneeze in front of you guys and that because that would that would be a disaster. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I will see you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.